Today, I'm gonna be making a park inside of Theme Park Tycoon, but every single ride is gonna have a randomly generated intensity. The intensities could range from being totally extreme, to being really nauseating, to even being just pretty gentle. We're gonna have one hour to build this park inside of Theme Park Tycoon, and the final result of this park actually turned out pretty amazing. You are not gonna wanna miss it. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe down below as 95% of you guys aren't subscribed. If you like Theme Park Tycoon at all, I promise you'll love my channel. Anyways, let's just get straight into today's video. Okay, so the timer's gonna start in 3, 2, 1, and go! Okay, our timer has just started. Alright, let's ask ChatGPT, list me a random intensity. Thrilling and fast-paced, okay. So the very first ride we have to make is thrilling and fast-paced. Okay, I, I think I have a few ideas for what we could do with this. I'm thinking this is gonna be the coaster we do for thrilling and fast-paced. This, like, brand new coaster of the game. So by fast-paced, I actually wanna go with a pretty interesting coaster. I wanna go with the hydraulic launch coaster, and we're gonna build a pretty cool layout for this. So we're gonna go ahead and place the station, something like that, and then we're gonna have a booster that just goes all the way down like this. So we're just gonna keep going down, keep going down, probably about here, and we're gonna just have it go, like, straight towards the sky. Oh yeah, oh this is gonna be awesome. Now I want this coaster to be pretty high up, so we'll do, we'll probably have the top hat be like somewhere like right around here. Now after this top hat, I'm not gonna actually make it like twist back like a lot of top hats. I'm gonna just straight up turn this like half part into a drop. So there'll be no banking or anything here. Might even make it kind of like go inward on itself a little here. See, something I don't like about top hats too much is that you don't really get to experience the full drop because you're, like, twisting. I think this would be a pretty cool element on, like, a real-life coaster. I don't, I don't think there is any top hats like this. Uh, if you don't know what a top hat, it's like an element where it, like, shoots you up like this and then sends you back over this way. So, we're gonna go ahead and out of this, go into a massive inversion. I think something like that is cool. We can even do like a crazy element as like while it's falling, we have it like go into an inversion. Oh man, that that's actually insane. So out of that, we're gonna go into like a sharp bank like here. And then we're gonna like have like kind of like something that goes low to the ground right around here. Okay, I think the layout is done and this is crazy. I mean, th this might be one of the most insane roller coasters I've ever built. Uh, this is very fast, very thrilling. What, what was it specifically the words that we're looking for? Thrilling and fast-paced. Yeah, I don't think you can get any more thrilling and fast-paced than this roller coaster. Let, let's watch it test. So it's gonna go out of that straight up into this huge top hat. Obviously, we gotta fix the the speed of this ride a little bit. But out of that into this huge half loop, and then into that crazy inversion. Oh man, this is a great coaster. You, you can just see, that looks awesome. Alright, I'm going to quickly fix some of the things for this. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to fix the track friction on this ride. So, let's just lower the... Or actually, we need to raise the track friction. And then, the booster, it needs to be lowered probably to about that. Now, it should be pretty good now, I, I'd assume. Oh, it barely makes it over the top. Wait, we got to do that again. Okay, I got the roller coaster working. Uh, yeah, I, I think it is definitely very fast and thrilling. I mean, look at this beast of a coaster right here. Oh, this just looks so cool. I love this little element here that just whip as it goes into the turn. Oh, it's so good. I'm, I'm actually shocked I made this in like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and work on the station for this ride. And then we'll get to work on the next roller coaster. Okay, so I got, like, the base of the station done. But now the next part we have to do is, for one, paint the ride. Uh, honestly, I kind of like this gray theme, but I want to make it a little more darker. Maybe, like, actually more towards black I think would look kind of cool. We do something like this. That looks cool. And then uh, we can do something like this here for, for the launch part. And then uh, this here, uh, really dark right here. Oh yeah, that, that's looking pretty interesting. I'm liking those colors. Actually, I might make this a little bit more lighter. Maybe we could do like that on it. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, okay, I, I like that. I like the colors of that. that that's looking pretty cool. Reminds you of uh, the new Top Deal Dragster roller coaster that's coming out. Alright, so next thing we gotta do is build a roof for this ride. So let's quickly do that. Okay, th that's looking kind of cool. So, next part we have to do is make the actual roof for this. I think a mesh roof might look the best for this. Just so we can get some light in the inside of it. 
Okay, I think that looks kind of neat. So we'll just like put some gray right here, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, maybe we should do like this. I th yeah, that's better. Okay, put the roof, boom. All right, I I'm liking that. That's looking cool. Now, the last thing that I think is left is we just got to build some, like, pretty basic cues down here. So, let's just go like this, and then, um, something like this. Okay, that's a cue for the ride. All right, let's just put some bushes here, you know, just like that. Boom. Some here. And then, uh, some, like, right along here. And, uh, I think that's the ride pretty much done. We'll add some more nature and stuff later, because we might actually do some rides over here. I don't know just yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say that's the ride pretty much done. Okay, this ride's done. Alright, let's go ahead and generate another ride. Gentle and relaxing. Okay, I- what is a ride that is just gentle and relaxing and nothing too crazy? Ooh, swan boats. I haven't actually built anything with the swan boats yet. Let, let's build a swan boat ride out here. Let, let's actually build a giant lake just right here. Because why not? This would look really cool. Let's just- excavate a lot of this out here uh you can see a, a lot of uh, other uh terrain down here from like other challenges and stuff so let's just get all of this excavated all around here let's keep going just like that boom and then we'll build a a nice gentle relaxing swamp boat ride okay i'm like carving out a lot of this area down here just gonna like go along here too all around here oh crap I just like screwed up. Obviously, we can't go too crazy on the terrain, so I'm just gonna use kind of like bushes all around here. Then we'll also put some trees and all that. Go right here, put some trees around here, just like this. And then we can go ahead and make a boat dock for this ride. Cause yeah, this ride kind of needs one. So let's get to building the swan boat. So it should be something pretty nice. Just, I guess, like this. And it should just take you all along here. Let's just have it go all the way out here. Then it could circle around this thing. And then we could have it come back down this way. And boom. Alright, our ride is now done. See, this is a pretty gentle and relaxing ride, you know? I'm gonna build kind of an interesting looking roof on this. So we'll just go like that. And then something like this. I'm gonna put some ceilings out here. Just like this. And then we'll just like go along here. Just like that. Up here, we'll just put some uh, fences like this. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the side ones. We'll just do it like that, and then we'll do them like this. We're going to grab these window pieces right here. We'll just put them on the sides. We're going to get some facade pieces and just put them like this. And then on the back side, we're going to do the same. And then we're going to grab these wooden walls, and we're just going to place them like this, this, down here, right here. And then uh, we're going to do a path down here that we're going to connect up, so we'll just go like this boom put some roofs in here just like that make sure all this is kind of like painted the same hey, it's a relatively basic building but this is literally just for a swan boat ride i'm not gonna go too crazy with it because i want to work on some other rides because oh my god we only have 28 minutes left of this chat oh my god i'm not even paying attention bro okay well this ride is done uh i'm gonna get some bushes to kind of just decorate this area a little bit and just put some here here Okay, th th this ride's done. Okay, with that ride done, we now only have two more rides left to build. All right, let's ask ChatGPT, what are we gonna get? Heart pounding and intense. Oh man, that, that gives us a lot of options. Heart pounding and intense. I'm going with dive coaster. When I think of heart pounding and intense, that is a dive coaster. I mean, they are literally one of the most intense roller coasters there is. So we're gonna go with one of these. Uh, I guess the dive coaster can just start like right over here and then it'll come around this way Straight track and then we're gonna go straight into a chain lift Okay, we're gonna go pretty high for this chain lift Now I'm gonna do probably one of the element wait I'm gonna actually fix this first But I'm gonna do an element on this chain lift that I think would be so awesome for one of these coasters to have We're gonna do a 360 degree turn here so you can really get that panoramic view before falling to your death. So, uh, I, gu I guess something like this will do. Let's put our hold break here. And, uh, we're just gonna go pretty crazy with this drop. I mean, it is gonna be a pretty massive drop here. 
uh, I might even make it like kind of go in on itself a little bit here. It's a little hard to do because, uh, you know, it's a little messed up for whatever reason. Just to, like the track angle. I don't know why. The game does this a lot and it's really annoying. I'm trying to like bend it backwards and it won't let me do it properly. Okay, I guess that'll work. Now, um, we'll put it all the way back here. Okay, I am literally right now fighting with this game to build this ride. Okay, I just finished the whole ride. Uh, you know, this is a layout of it. We got our 360 drop here. It goes down into a beyond vertical drop. Into a very sharp bank. Out of that into this little element here. And then into a cutback. And then an awesome inversion right over the launch and right into the brakes. I think that's a pretty cool layout, but we actually have to go ahead and wrap this right up very quickly because we have only 17 minutes and I'd really like to build one more coaster. So let's quickly uh, make a station for this ride. Uh, so let's grab our ceilings and we're just going to put them like alongside here so we can have like, you know, our station. So we'll just ceiling, 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 just all along here, just like that. Boom, bada bow, pretty easy. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our fences down. So let's just go like this, and this, and this, this, and uh, that should pretty much be all it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh my God, I'm like moving. I'm not even trying to move right now. Okay, we're gonna grab like just some pathways like this. We can go all the way down. Okay, we're gonna quickly make a little thing for this. So we're just gonna get some fences like this, put it all along here. Then we're gonna grab a pole put it like this okay I think that's kind of a cool little thing for the queue and then we're gonna go ahead and grab this drag it on here put this right here boom 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 right here done just like that and then we're gonna put that there and I think we're getting pretty close to finishing this station but let's keep going so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna move this we're gonna grab some of these I know this station is really basic I'm, I'm speed running this station Trust me, I've made much better stations on my channel. I'm not really uh, liking this one that much. But I want to make one more ride in this park. I really do. That is my mission for today's video. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in 14 minutes. Alright, let's just do something basic like this. <laughs> oh, so bad. You know what? I'm sorry, gamers. I'm sorry. I'm usually better than this. You guys know that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some like this. And then something like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a roof on this. Okay, I just finished this roller coaster. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, paint this. So uh, what would be kind of a cool color? I'm thinking, what if we do green? That might kind of be a cool color. Ooh, wait, I like the green and red. Okay, yeah, that that's cool. I like that. Oh, it looks like a monster. Oh, and it's on a lake. Oh my God. It, it, we, we could literally call this a Loch Ness Monster. I, I think that'd be a cool name for this. Let's make the train for this yellow. So yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, this ride is now officially done. Uh, I think I did a pretty cool job on it, but we got now 10 minutes left to do one final coaster. So let's do this. All right, let's be a random coaster. I really hope it's nothing too crazy. Energetic and dynamic. Okay, that's a very interesting description and I'll try to replicate that. Now, specifically what I'm thinking for that is we could do a roller coaster like we could, we could do a coaster like this, but we're gonna do something more specific with this. Let's build an El Loco roller coaster. Okay, we're gonna go down straight down like this, and uh, we'll have it come up like this after the drop, and then I'm gonna have it go into like an outer bank here, kind of like this, and uh, have it come over like this. I'm gonna have it go up here. I'm gonna have it start like flipping upside down. And then uh, out of that, we'll have it come down this way. Actually, I don't even know because this is not... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to redo this part. Oh, man, we only got seven minutes. I'm kind of, like, scared right now. Okay, I'm going to just start with the ending of this ride. I'm just going to work on that. So we'll do breaks like this, some breaks here, and then we're going to have it go upside down here. And then we're going to have it kind of, like, turn back like this. Okay, I, I think I have an idea of what we're going to do. I'm going to make it go up here. We'll have it go here. And then we'll have an outer bank like this. And then I'm going to have it twist down. Okay, I'm just going to go with something like this. So it goes down into a drop. There's this like weird outer bank thing. All right, I, I have to smooth it out just a tiny bit more. But I think I got an idea here. Okay, I just finished this ride. Uh, I'm like trying to get this all done before the end of the challenge. 
So we're going to put it at entrance here, exit here. Uh, this is going to be the quickest speed run of a roller coaster I've ever done. Oh, my God. And there's so much to do. I barely, like, done any, like, terrain or anything around this park. I wanted to put some more uh, foliage around it, like trees and all that. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to get to it in this video, man. I, I don't even know, but we're going to try. Okay, so we're going to do something like this here for the ending. Um, yeah, just something like this all along here. And then uh, right here, we're going to go like that. Uh, okay, one more up right here, boom, just like that, and then right here, okay, there's that, and then, uh, we're gonna put some roofs right here, just like that, and then, uh, we're gonna just put some right here too, we'll just do these, why not, and then we're gonna get some frames, I'm just gonna put these, like, along here, oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually screwing up, I do not have the time to screw up like this right now, Okay, th that'll work, that'll work. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab some more of this. Just place this along here. Boom, easy. Okay, now we gotta do uh, the station part. Oh, God. Okay, I think this ride is pretty much done. All that's left on this is it needs a roof. Oh, my God, wait, I forgot that. But yeah, it needs, like, a quick little roof on it. Oh, uh, man, these stations are not the best. I gotta spend on this challenge more time on building the rides than I did, uh, like, actually theming it, which... Uh, I don't know. We'll just see how this turns out. I haven't really gotten, like, an, uh, the chance to really take a full, like, look at this park. But from how it's looking, it is looking pretty decent. Uh, even with, like, some of these stations being rushed. Oh, my God. We have 60 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was not even paying attention. Uh, I, gu I guess we'll just do metal. Uh, and then uh, we got to do the last thing. Uh, all of our challenges. We just got to spam down trees. Oh, man. Uh, spam down trees everywhere. Trees, trees, trees. Oh, it's over. Oh, ch challenge is up. Okay, so that has been our park. It, it is now done. Oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, I just gotta quickly, you know, connect this path up real quick. You, you didn't see this. You didn't see this. I was gonna delete that. Okay. Okay, I've opened up the whole park up, and uh, let's just go explore and see some of the rides that I've built. The very first one I'm wanting to do is uh, the amazing Loch Ness Monster. I think this one is really, really cool. I love the way it just interacts with the whole park, uh, and it also looks cool. I love the color scheme of this. All right, I am testing this ride. Let's go ahead and ride this. Oh, boy, I'm really excited. I'm also excited for that hydraulic launch coaster I made. I love that, like, double inversion thing I made here. That is so trippy and, like, strange looking. But I, I think this would be crazy in real life. Like, dude, look at that. Oh, my God. That, that is wild. I, I'm excited to ride that one. But this one here is also pretty cool. I like what I did here. I added the, the old dive coaster track underneath it to kind of give it this little catwalk up the lift hill. Because that will look a little strange without any catwalk. I wish Dennis would add that to the game. But here we go on our 360 around the park before we literally die and, uh, you know, crash down in a million miles an hour. Oh, my God. Staring right down at the very bottom. I am, uh... It's a little scary. It's a little menacing. Oh my god. Beyond vertical drop right there. And then we go straight into a right hand turn. And then we got this pretty awesome element right here. Uh, it's kind of like a dive loop I'd say. And then out of that we got this half loop kind of thing. Or not half loop. This would be a cutback. I think that's what it's called. And then you know we got this really low to the ground. Zero G roll. And then we come through here. Got a lot of head choppers. And then right to the brakes. And that is Loch Ness Monster. I think I did a pretty decent job on that one. But we still have two more rides to check out in this park. Uh, we also have a swan boat. But I don't really care to ride it. I mean, it's just a swan boat. Oh, yeah. I should probably tell you what these are. So that one was heart pounding and intense. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job on a heart pounding and intense ride. But the next ride we have here I think is also pretty cool. This one's supposed to be kind of like an El Loco roller coaster. This is supposed to be energetic and dynamic, and I feel like that's really a perfect description of the El Loco model. It is very ener energetic, and it's super dynamic because, you know, it can be, like, fit into a super cramped spot. Uh, but, yeah, here we go down the drop. We got a pretty sharp turn here, and then we just go straight down, barreling at the ground just like that. And then out of that, we go into this, like, weird outer bank. Uh, I don't know. A lot of them have that. And then, uh, you know, we go into the final part. Uh, the profiling could definitely be better, but we had, like, less than 10 minutes to make this ride. So, uh, I think I did a pretty decent job on that. And then we have one final thing left, which is our awesome roller coaster here. This is a cool-looking coaster. Let's go hop right on board. 
All right, let me just make my way up to the station. Boom, bada, bow. Oh, man, just look at that thing go. It is going so fast. Okay, here we go. Full speed ahead. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even realize how cool that looks. Like, with the, the zero G roll going right over it. Oh, man, this is crazy. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, my God. We are going full swing speed ahead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, right over the lip, or right over the top hat. Oh my god. Plummeting towards the ground and beyond vertical drop there. And then we got this awesome dive loop thing. I'm kind of curious how this rolls. Oh, that is crazy. That looks like such a strange element, but I love the way it just like looks. Like it's so cool. It's very menacing. And that that is this ride. Wow. I think I did a really good job on this park. Let me know down below what you guys think. Did I do a good job on this park? But anyways, guys, I think this is going to be where we wrap up today's video. If you liked today's video, make sure to go smash that like button down below. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!